hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix performance issue with psychonauts 2 game on your windows computer now the first step is to launch the game with directx 11 settings for this launch steam go to library and then make a right click on psychonauts 2 game and then select properties and in the launch option go ahead and type in dash dx 11 and then once you type this close this and then try to launch the game once again now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and write this command in launch option so this time make a right click on psychonauts 2 game and then go to launch option and this time go ahead and type in dash d3 d11 and then you go ahead and close this and then try to launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver for this if you have nvidia go to nvidia website if you have amd go to amd website so i'm showing for nvidia so go to the website select your graphic card from the list and make sure that you select the right operating system then click on search and then you will see the download option click on download and after the download is complete run the exe file and then click on agree and continue then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like not on mcafee bit defender so make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program in case if you are using windows security go to the start menu then click on settings to open windows settings now over here go ahead and click on update and security and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the steam folder then steam apps then open the common folder then you have to go ahead and open the psychonauts 2 game folder in my case it's not there so you will find psychonauts 2 game folder open the game folder and then add the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam make a right click on psychonauts 2 game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and then try to launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file for this go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 install both x86 and x64 version so you have to go ahead and click on both the exe file download both the exe file and then run both the exe file one by one so click on repair on in install whatever you see run the second file as well click on repair or install whatever you see and then click on yes to allow let both the installation complete do not click on restart now once both the installation is complete you can click on restart or you can close this window go to the start menu click on the power icon then restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on psychonauts 2 game in my case it's not there you have to make a right click on the psychonauts 2 game and then select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder so you have to go ahead and open the steam library and then steam apps common folder and then you will see psychonauts 2 game folder you have to go ahead and open the psychonauts 2 game folder and then you have to make a right click on the psychonauts 2 exe file in my case i'm showing with different application but you have to open the psychonauts 2 game folder and then you have to make a right click on psychonauts 2 exe file and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply okay and then try to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam try to launch the game from the game installation folder 
The next step, step is for laptop users with dual graphic card. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card for this. Go ahead and type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Then click on browse. And then go to the game installation folder once again. So wherever the game is installed, open the Steam folder, Steam apps, then open the common folder. Over here you will find Psychonauts 2 game folder. Open the Psychonauts 2 game folder and then select the game exe file for Psychonauts 2 game. And then once the game is added over here, click on options and then select high performance, then click on save and then try to launch the game. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. So go to Steam, make a right click on the Psychonauts 2 game and select properties. Uncheck the box which says enable Steam overlay. So if this is checked, you have to go ahead and uncheck this. If this is checked which says keep game same in Steam Cloud, go ahead and uncheck both the options. So disable Steam overlay, uncheck this, uncheck this and then try to launch the game. Now in case if you have any other overlay application, so if you have Discord running on the computer, go ahead and please uh, go ahead and close the Discord application. So if this is running, go ahead and close Discord. Now in case if you have GE Force Experience running on the computer, go ahead and close GE Force Experience. So close all the other overlay application, disable Steam Cloud, which we already did. Perform clean boot for this, go ahead and type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says, which says hide all Microsoft services. So make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, I already did it. In your case, it will be highlighted. So put a check here over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply, okay. Then you will see the restart option, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Close all the overclocking application and background application. So if you have any overlay application running on the computer, go ahead and close it. So if you have MSI Afterburner running on the computer, go ahead and close it. Now in case if you have a Reaver Tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close Reaver Tuner. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application. Also close all the background application. So make sure only the game and the Steam is running. You can also go to the start menu, then click on settings. In the search box, you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps and then turn this off and then try to launch the game. The next step is to try to lower down graphic settings. So go to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, go to graphic settings. If the graphic setting, everything is set to high or ultra, set it to medium or low and then try to launch the game. In case if nothing is working, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game. To uninstall, go to the Steam, make a right click on Psychonauts 2 game and then go to manage, then click on uninstall. And after the uninstall, go to the game folder, game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.